I'm Jermont Terry. New developments coming from the Cook County State's Attorney's Office tonight. The deadly shooting of a 12-year-old by another teen is not closed. And the victim's family insisting there's something investigators need to see before they look any further. It's alarming video of the teen suspected of pulling the trigger. Erica Gibson's parents won't get to plan her 13th birthday next month. We got to bury her. That's the hardest part. We got to bury her. And now the family is outraged to see this video. This little girl didn't just all of a sudden picked up a gun. She been doing it for months. Gibson's family is raising flags about the 14 year old who pulled the trigger, accidentally shooting the 12 year old in Hazelcrest. Pulling the trigger, shooting somebody in the head is not an accident. They say this video shows the same 14 year old who shot Gibson, but this time the teen poses with a long gun. Video posted on TikTok months earlier. Like she opposed with a teddy bear in her hand, like it ain't nothing. With her finger sticking out. That shows a different personality to what they trying to portray. Hazelcrest police say the teen will not face charges. You're not going to push charges against her? Okay, so who are you going to press charges against? Gibson's aunts are demanding the Cook County State's Attorney see this video to fully understand guns were accessible more than once in that South Suburban house where their niece was visiting. If we would have seen that video in January, maybe we wouldn't be burying my, uh, my niece. The state's attorney tells CBS2 it has not closed the investigation. As for the adults in that house. They're not saying anything to the police. Who owns the guns? They're not saying anything. But I feel that the police can make them talk. No, I tried reaching out to that teen's family with no luck. We should point out, it's not clear if the weapon you saw in that TikTok video is the same gun used to kill Gibson, but Gibson's family insisting. Either way, it proves that guns were accessible in that house and the owner of those weapons need to be held responsible. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Erica? Jermont, thank you.